good morning everyone and welcome back to a new vlog um i'm sure you can tell i just woke up because my face is still swollen everything is still swollen my lips everything like wow um but i want to start this vlog because i wanted to start this cleanse i was supposed to do this cleanse very very long time ago um just just supposed to kick start there but like it's late now anyway but i still want to do the cleanse it's like a boosting cleanse um and i think i have to do it before i eat anything so in order for me to do that i obviously need to stop the vlog and i want to show it to you guys like while i do it and all of that so yeah i'm starting the vlog if you are new here welcome if you are a returning subscriber welcome back um and yeah if you're new also don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can catch more content we have a lot of vlogs coming out these days like it's a good time here we're enjoying we're living life um wow i look very interesting but um yeah let's get into it okay so lighting is not the best right now but um the first thing is that i have this collagen 10,000 um thing that i'm supposed to take this is the the thing the the actual cleanse or whatever use one ampoule per day to be diluted in a glass of water or fruit juice for 10 days shake while before opening okay let's just start with the collagen and see what that says and don't worry about these dishes they're actually clean i just don't know why they're not packed anyway i'll pack them um i i don't know what collagen could taste like i'm not looking forward to this it doesn't oh it smells it smells like orange but in a weird way no there's like a there's like a fish it's like a fish after small though i don't know how to explain what's going on here it's like the consistency of oil <laughs> why did i get so emotional i feel like i just took medicine as a kid you know when they're tricky and they're like it's it's like Scott's emulsion, you know, like it, it, it had it starts with orange but then it ends up with weird textures and flavors and smells in your mouth. That's what it feels like. I feel like I just as a kid was just tricked into drinking Scott's emulsion. <laughs> Let me get a glass of water for the rest of this. Okay, I got my glass of water. Um I didn't pour too much because I just didn't want the whole thing to last for too long. I'm already. <laughs> oh my god, oh my gosh, they're so big. They're huge. Check. These are big. No wonder they put in fruit juice. Do they not have fruit juice? Oh, can I put it in Coke? Co not cocaine. Coca Cola. <laughs> um, yikes. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's got like little brown bits in there. Like, oh, I oh, don't know. It looks like. The things we do for like a healthy, glowing body, skin, or like good body and cleansed bodies and stuff. But apparently, this is gonna help with like my my lymphedema. That did not work. I did not come out. It's like it's open. Why is it not coming out? It's not good at all. I'll the other side. Oh, there you go. Oh, so it only comes out when you break the other side. This is what it looks like. Okay, this smells lemony. So many citrus fruit flavors and smells. Not so much taste. I'm going through something. <laughs> I can't explain it. it, it I can. It, it's giving sand. It's also giving tasteless, but it's also giving sand. It feels like I'm drinking bark. I am questioning all my life decisions. I 
I hate to be those people that gag on camera, but like, Jesus. I don't know how much this cost, but I got it at the spa where I go. Um, but I know I paid for it. Mm. But it's like ocean ingredients, apparently. Yeah. Hopefully this does help me cleanse and clean. Um, I need to call the dentist because I have an appointment today. And yeah, and then after that, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my day. If I think my appointment might be at like three or something, which then means my whole day is kind of like ruined. Um, yeah, I have a delivery that's supposed to come through. Um, yeah, I want my perfume online. So I have perfume, but I needed the specific one that I couldn't find anywhere in store. Um, so yeah, that's basically, that's, that's it for today. I don't know what else I'm going to do today. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Um, but I do need to do some planning. I need to do some, some YouTube work, some jotting down. Um, I would say I might go to Starbucks, but what, that would be so contradictory to go to Starbucks right after I got my teeth cleaned, to go drink coffee right after getting my teeth cleaned, because that's what I'm going to do for, teeth cleaning. Um, that would be just rude. Um, to myself, honestly, like, why did I just go get my teeth cleaned and then go drink the most staining drink ever? So, and it's like, no, I can't not drink something that has coffee at Starbucks. The teas are not for me at Starbucks. Like, yeah. So, yeah, let me have a cup of a robust tea to wake me up for the morning. I don't even know if I want that to be quite honest after that water, but like, yeah, we'll see as the day goes on what happens. I don't know if this is going to be a weekly vlog or going to be just because I can see this clip is already long, so it might just be today or tomorrow, today and tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, I am back in bed and I'm having a, well, it was meant to be like a butternut soup, but I just took the leftover butternut from yesterday's um, dinner, Sunday dinner and pureed it so it's more like a butternut puree um and this is because i'm trying to eat healthier and i've just made a list of things um that like will try and keep me on track i feel like i've gained so much weight so i'm just trying to for the next month or two try and eat healthier so i'm having this butternut um just butter nuts with no meat so i've limited myself to like meat only once a day because usually i be eating meat like my breakfast bacon my lunch whatever meat there is ham sandwiches like just meat all over and i love meat and i have steaks and you know so i'm just trying to limit myself to meat once a day like any type of meat whether it's fish prawns seafood anything anything like flesh once a day um and then there's no dairy and no sugar i don't know how i'm gonna have my coffees and teas from now on that'll be interesting um and just a whole bunch of other stuff and to try like alternatives for things so if i really 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 want to have milk in my like coffee i have to use like almond milk or something you know just have alternatives instead of just you know dairy and stuff like that so yeah so that's what i'm doing and i'm having a glass of water and um i think i'm gonna watch suits because i took this personality test i can't pronounce the name but i took this personality test and basically it tells you um who you are most like in a tv show like different characters and then under the suits category so like it gives you a different person for each tv show and the suits category it said i was like jessica pearson the most and i was like yes and then for scandal it was abby wheeland and then like it was 80 percent abby wheeland i think and then 79 percent olivia pope and i was like damn where did i miss that one percent but anyway um yeah so i'm gonna watch suits because i feel like it's so inspiring it's nice to watch like 
law shows. I don't know. Something about lawyers. It seems like they have their lives together. I don't know why, but lawyers always seem to have their lives together. Even the people that I know in my life that are like lawyers or studying law or whatever, they always just seem to have their shit together. So I don't know. Whenever I want to watch some, like, whenever I want to feel like I'm getting myself together, I always watch a show with lawyers in it. So yeah, I'm going to watch Suits while I eat my puree slash soup. I don't know. <laughs> my butternut. <laughs> a quick update you would have just seen clips of me getting um what is in the boot oh my gosh anyway you would have seen me getting my toenails done i decided very last minute according to sorbet dry bar and they like fit me in and i just quickly got ready and i went and then i came back home um and got ready for the dentist appointment so it's like quarter to four right now um, and I'm on my way to the dentist appointment got my toenails done had a little bit of sparkling wine they say it's champagne but like from my taste buds I really believe it's sparkling wine and I've had it enough times like to know because like I've honestly <laughs> I literally spent um, October November but mostly November and December just drinking champagne um so i'm not gonna say i'm an expert but i i've had a lot of recent experience so i kind of there's just a taste man when it really is like champagne and sparkling wine there's just a difference so yeah but it was good it was fun the i just went with white i because i was like in such a not a rush but like you know when you do something last minute and you weren't like planning on doing it it just all is a lot to take in so yeah so i didn't really i was too flustered to pick a color so i just said white like i didn't really look at the color i just said please do white um now the only thing that's left is these nails and i, I hate them i need to change them they need to be changed they need to be redone i actually made a tiktok about them because i just did not like them at all um but um yum what nothing else to say yeah it's just vibes now i'm going to the dinners and uh, they said they're ready for me early they just called me and they were like if you want to make your way through you can like they'll be ready for you earlier um so that's what i'm doing oh my gosh i love this outfit i feel like it's just such a fun i don't want to say nude because these are like browns um but it's just such a fun little brown nude look and i'll show you guys when i get home because even with the sunglasses the pairing and my hair tie back i decided not to like do all my earrings today just the big studs and like my piercings that are always in also i changed out one of my piercings but like yeah um from the original one that i was pierced with because the ball fell off and i had to change it so i've done that and yeah i feel like i've caught you guys up on everything I'll, when i get home um i'm gonna show you guys my outfit i don't know if i'm gonna be able to like vlog at the dentist that's so weird <sighs> Ah, uh, it's always weird. I don't know, like, okay, like everything else, it makes sense. Like when you vlog anywhere else, you know, um, like a lot of situations. But like the one that I cannot, for the life of me, vlog in any situation, um, is like in a medical facility. It feels so weird. Like when I was in the hospital, there's no vlog footage of that, obviously, or even snap footage. Like there's a picture, but like no, no, like video footage. Um. Even um, in 2020 when I got the tooth taken out, I did a bit of vlog footage when the dentist was out But like it's so weak because I'm like scared, you know, I'm just trying to get a clip in quickly or whatever um, So yeah, when I'm in a medical facility, I don't know, I feel so awkward about vlogging um, Maybe like one day if like, I don't know, you know, doctors become like or doctors and dentists here become like, you know, the Malibu LA ones that like 
have Instagrams and stuff so they are free with you post like they're cool and, and free with it you know like chilled with it with you posting and all of that then maybe I'll be comfortable but yeah um, I don't know if this extends to like I've never had Botox or been to any of like a clinic like that so I can't speak on that but I think they are chilled with like social media um what's that one clinic the one that has like different branches there's like one in four ways and all of them I forgot what it's called but like they have like a social media page so i'm sure if you go there and you're vlogging like it's chilled um i suppose that that's a bit of a different situation but like talking about like normal like your gp also why would you want to vlog your <laughs> your gp experience i mean i'm all about being real and sharing everything but i think if i'm talking to my gp about like I don't know what that was my GP about. Like the kind of cough I'm having or just something really detailed. Nah, I'm good. Okay, let's go. Back in the car. Okay, I couldn't vlog, honestly. Like, yeah, I couldn't vlog. And there's so much to talk about. My teeth are uh, not in a good state. Um, yeah, so I had to like have a lot of discussions. But they're clean! Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell. Is that toothpaste? That's toothpaste. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, they feel so good. Mmm. Mmm. They haven't felt this clean in so long. Um, but yeah. yeah just. Get, what are you doing? Between me. So, how do I get out of here? Oh my gosh, I had a whole conversation with myself and this thing was off the whole time. But what I'm saying is I just don't understand how this is like... It's like a two-way street, but like not. But like a one-way, but not. Um, and just getting out of here is an issue because I can't see the cars. I'm like doing extreme driving, I feel. Anyway, um, but I was just saying that my teeth feel so good. I haven't... I haven't felt them this clean in like so long. Um, and like running. Mm, mm. Okay. There's a lot she had to scrape out from like the bottom teeth at the back. And you know, there's just been something that felt like it was bothering me for like months. And she finally got that out. It. I've been flossing. I have flossed. I've tried it all and it needed to be scraped out i don't know what it was but it needs to be scraped out and finally that's out and the back truth over here uh, that also had something that was annoying me that's gone i'm just so glad i went to the dentist i used to go two times a year like a normal person should as they say um but this all stopped in high school i think the last time i went to the dentist before last year's shenanigans when I had to take the tooth out because like it was completely rotten um was literally 2015 my first year of varsity and it wasn't even by choice like anyway so yeah the lighting is so good right now jeez go um it is insanely good like ah uh, Wow. Cape Town sun hits different. Also, today's not as warm as yesterday, so I don't know if I still want to swim. It is hot, but it's not as like hot as what yesterday was. But my sister and I, yo, know, yesterday she wanted to swim, and I wasn't really about it. But now I feel like swimming. I don't know if she's about it. Um, I don't know if the pool's clean either. Um, yeah, because last time we swam at the beach. But like the Indian Ocean side, and it was amazing, you know. I think that's the one thing about Cape Town that's really cool is the fact that there's two oceans. And although, like, the cooler side is where, like, the cool, not like cold, but cool, like, like hip, like vibey, like that kind of cool, the cooler side is um, Camps Bay where the Atlantic is, which is really freezing cold. And that's just for like surfing and things like that. You, you, you would not want to really swim here and it's a really hot day i think you can swim i've done it once in my entire life and we've been living here for years um and then 
the like warm side is the Indian Ocean on the other side of Cape Town where like I mean there are some like really nice places and hidden places I'd say like Simon's Town and even some of the beaches um, at Cape Point Fishhook is also pretty cool um, so like yeah th that side is cool but it's just also a bit far Strand is the best one but it's so far like it's further than Stellenbosch so it is quite far further than the airport further than Stellenbosch like you're leaving Cape Town at that point you might as well go down to Manus like why stop at Strand or Somerset West like just go down to Manus call it a day um, but yeah we went to the beach and it was really fun we literally got to the beach I think it was like 7 and we started swimming at like 7 o'clock at night and I think we stopped swimming 8 o'clock to 8 but the sun is still out because like it's Cape Town um, which I really feel like should be an hour behind I don't know if it's just me but I feel like we are probably more in line with like the West African time than we are with the whole of South Africa but that's just like my two cents I'm not the creator of longitude and latitude and time zones and ge geography geographical lines um, political geography lines I don't know what the hell I'm saying but I'm not the creator of any of that so I can't make these decisions which ones there yeah, which one's going straight um okay anyway I got my teeth clean and that was amazing and I really enjoyed it and um yeah might have a little might have a little crush on the oral hygienist but we're not gonna talk about that i don't know why like she 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 just i don't know but like obviously i'm gonna come back to her to clean my teeth because also like the sexual tension not actual sexual tension like by meme the sexual tension like you know how they say the sexual tension between you and then the other kid your age on the plane the sexual tension between you and your oral hygienist or dentist when they're like you know getting you prepped and and they're looking down at you and you kind of have no choice but to look back up at them oh my word is it something it was it was something and i'm just up there like I'm just like laying down there like I'm looking at you and like you know but at the same time it's like the minute I saw her I was just like oh my gosh she's so beautiful I was like I find her so attractive I hope she doesn't see it this one day um anyway moving along but she was she was she was oh, she is oh, beautiful anyway it was fun I enjoyed getting my teeth clean but yes it, it helped that it was by someone extremely gorgeous and that's that on that. That's on Fury. That's that's that on that. Let me put on my DCT. Out here talking with my dry ass lips. Out here yapping. Yappa 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 yappa. Shut it, please. That's me to me. Um. Yeah, I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Also, like when I was in the chair, I was like, oh my gosh. I'm a bit hungry. The um, my stomach. It started wanting to make. You know when you can tell your stomach wants to start growling. It started doing that, and I was like, "You're not about to do me like that in front of this lady. You are not about to do me like that." I spoke to my stomach, and I was like, "No," and it stopped that behavior immediately. Um. So yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stop now because every time I turn this way, the sun is just too harsh. Like I'm literally facing west. So it just becomes way too much right now. Mm. Okay, I'm back home about to show you guys my full outfit. Let me just close my bag. Okay. Koi. The girls are giving. The girls are giving. Today, the girls are giving. This is the look. I'm getting a thumbnail. Wait. Okay. Anyway, um, so everything is fun, okay. Starting with the shoes, these are from Cotton On, just slides. Um, I tend to not push them all the way, and also my nails are white. It's a bit weird angle. Anyway, uh, then the shorts from the fit. I really didn't like the length when I got them last year, but I'm wearing them today for the first time ever since I bought them in like June, maybe before June last year. Um, yeah. They're not comfortable, they're not fun, but like they fit this, 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 
the energy that we have here. And then this bodysuit is also from um, The Fix. And then this Chanel Deep bag is from Cotton On. And the sunglasses are from Cotton On. And then like I just did my hair back. Earrings are from Lovisa. And I believe these ones are two carats together. And then the other earrings are just piercings. Oh, and then the earring I was talking about is this one. Yeah, I got that from Lovisa. So, but it's surgical steel, so it still makes sense. And then this is the braids. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so my siblings are about to swim, so I decided to put on my swimming costume. Well, the bottom part of the bikini I bought like two weeks ago, but I haven't tried it on. Um, and it was on sale at Cotton On, and then this top is also from Cotton On. I'll show you guys the bottom part when I'm like outside. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to just take pictures. I'm like, I'm not in the mood to swim. But I think I'm going to wear my black sunglasses. Yeah, the same shape that I had on just now, but like the black sunglasses. Um, and take some pickety picks. Yo. Okay, I haven't shaved my stomach, but this is what it looks like. I need to take off this tag. But this is what the bottoms look like on me. And then this is another listener the costume. They don't even really match, but like in post, they will. In post production, they will match. Okay, we're outside. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. It's very really weird. Warm. It is quite warm. I just, I know I'll get cold in like two seconds though. <laughs> oh, there we go. My sinus is like. <laughs> the best way not to get cold is to get dumped in the True. I want to get onto the. Um. What's this trampoline? Wow, this is giving me quite the wedgie. But um, yeah, we're gonna get into the trampoline. The shade! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm just trying not to like hit the things that are in here. Oh my gosh, the only problem that I ever have with trampolines is that my bladder. Woo. Okay, that's not one day. <laughs> that was fine. Oh, they're having a race in the pool. The people. And then, eee, I'm so I'm dizzy. Aren't you opening your eyes? I'm getting stuck on the wall. Why? Oh! I'm so away from the wall. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Alright, so this was in the pool. Oh, what, the pool looks good though. It looks nice and blue, but not blue enough for me to be in it. Am I that unfit? Am I that old? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, just... I'm gonna get dressed into like um don't mind this mess. Oh I don't know how I ever show this. Um funny enough, this is me in grade four and then me in grade seven. Yeah, Mondio. I was only there for four years. What are you find me? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna put on my pajamas and then make supper, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I made dinner last night. Like, I'm so tired. But I really want a prawn curry for myself. Because, like, obviously, it's the first time I'm eating meat today. Um, and, like I said, I'm used to eating meat 
all the time like every meal is a meat meal for me so um yeah i need to oh my god am i that unfit ew anyway yeah i need to get dressed and then i'll figure out what's gonna happen um yeah so i just want something nice for myself and then we'll see how that goes okay so i'm currently making my prawn curry there's the lighting currently making hi ah, oh my kitchen lines have never been so good currently making my prawn curry um i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and the spices that i'm putting in and i'm just making it for me because like no one has eat spicy food today and all of that but like yeah okay so we have hot uh, okay so we have hot um curry powder i've already put in the ground ginger the what did it spell? the um chili flakes lemon and black pepper seasoning which i feel like lemon is what balances out my curries parsley uh black peppercorns i'm gonna put in some salt i'm gonna put in some salt but this is what it looks like so far with a little bit of butter vegan butter though and um oil i don't know why i put the oil in i should have skimmed on that but like i needed something to carry the butter a bit longer um yeah but the bus is vegan so it's not gonna be like a problem also i don't know where this pumple came from but she's alive It looks like it's the previous morning because I'm still wearing the same pajama, but um, it's not. I mean, you can tell by this very um, well growing pom pom. Anyway, I'm like super sleepy and tired, but I it's 10 o'clock and I'm awake and I can't sleep any further. I woke up last night. Okay, I slept. I slept at. I think like half past seven or something because of my medication and then I woke up at midnight and then I couldn't sleep until half past six in the morning and I've been awake now since 9.30 and now it's like 10 o'clock but I'm going to make myself breakfast and I'm going to, there's juice today so I'm going to do the whole um, cleanse thing and whatnot, I'm not sure you want that um, so yeah So I've just had a lot to pour a lot just so it can get finished a lot quicker. Day two. I'm not explaining this. They literally like glass bottles with glass capsules. Shaking it. That. Oh, that's facing down. Pop off. Just swirl that around. Oh my gosh, I can still see the brown. Well, I think it's more visible from the top, so. Yeah, you can see the like muddy looking water. Better with juice. Still not great. So usually I have just no not it's nothing. Usually I, I have um my eggs, like my boiled eggs, because I haven't been eating fried eggs for like a week now, which big up for me because I really love fried eggs. Um but I have them on like a provita, like a provita or two provitas rather, and then I have like baby spinach rocket and like basil all on there as greens, and then I also put on some avo. Don't have that either so i only have like one provita left because i've been eating them um that's why my breakfast um no greens no avo 
and then I put like the egg on top and that's it. I'll call it a day. So now it's just gonna be like on Pravita and two eggs on Okay, maybe one egg on Pravita and then oh, I'll also make like this garlic and chili mixture, which is like yeah, no chili with my breakfast. Ooh, dangerous. Um I'll brush my teeth afterwards and yeah, again. <laughs> So why am I, it looks so dry, but it's in the morning, I should be forgiven. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a very random, very, very random car update. But I just got, um, I'm in Canal Walk and I just got out of Truett and I bought myself a fragrance, a Saint Laurent Libre, 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 because I speak Francais. Um, oh, that was, was that offensive? I'm sorry. Um, I've just been, I don't know, I've just been like heavily interested in French, um, and Spanish too, but like, Spanish has always been there, but French is like new to me. Anyway, not new to me as a language, but new to me as an interest. Anyway, um, especially because like I've just been indulging in a lot of French things. Um, anyway, so I oh my god, it's kind of like double locking. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's so hot. Anyway, I had ordered um my usual coach dreams online, and it said it was gonna come in two to three days. It has now been well two to three working days. It has now been four working days. So I don't know what's going on with that. But then, um, so I was like, I need something to hold me over. So I just went and bought like the little, I think this is 800 moles, but like 30 moles actually. Why did I, why did I think 800 moles? Jesus, that'd be a lot. That's bigger than a can of like cool drink. Um, this is 30 moles. So I just bought the smallest one to hold me over. And I bought like the stronger version of this perfume. Cause like you can get this perfume, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how cute the bottle is. That's why I'm like doing this little recording. Like how beautiful is this bottle? And I love this cap. Like it just turns into different shapes. It's so beautiful. Um, and it smells just as good. And I need to switch on the car before I sweat it off. Um, but yeah, I just made that purchase and I'm looking like a material girl today. I am like wearing silk on silk Um, we're not gonna talk about my burns a Story for another day, but like material girl period um, Come fetch me someone That was that was unnecessary. That was uncalled for. That was not good um, But yeah my skin looks good. I am wearing makeup. Um, it's melting a little bit on my nose. But I did have a a beauty blazer. Oh, I think I'm gonna wear this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this one. Um, because I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get my nose burned. Like I don't want to get Probably can't hear me over the thing. Anyway. Okay, since I didn't vlog when I went to Canal Walk, I'm vlogging now. I got a last minute appointment to get these nails off. I did say I don't like them. Um, so yeah, I'm getting them soaked off. I'm going to survey dry bar. Um, and yeah, I feel like I want to vlog more when I get like inside. Why is this? Oh my gosh, is it that bad? Okay, yeah. I need to vlog when I get inside because the lighting, wow. What was that? Mr. Price, 
There was actually another one that I really liked, and I think you like tied it at the back or something. But I know you tied it somewhere. But it was like a satin top like this, and it was black. But then when I went back, they didn't have it. And then two weeks later, I went back and I found this gem. And I think I got this top for like seventy or sixty rand. But I think it was like priced down too. You know, there's like one top that's left, and they price it down. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's really cute. The only problem is that like the straps of it big um but it sits so low that it makes it look like i have cleavage which is like kind of cute because i don't have um these are really small but yeah and then i'm wearing this satin pants i think it's also from a surprise yes it is it's from a surprise i've worn it many a times well not many but like it's the one pants i like to wear when i'm when i'm doing an outfit this is the pants that i go to like when i'm doing an outfit outfit these are the these are the pair of pants that i really like you know wear and go for and then i'm wearing my white air forces uh they're not really washed but they look cute with this look and then i'm wearing this bag from colette and another chain the gold chain which obviously goes with all my jewelry um i got this why do i have so many like did i get hit oh this looks like it was a pimple anyway um so i got this cute little bracelet from um Cotton on the look to my boobage, and then I got these sunglasses from Cotton on, which I love with this because, like, you know, also driving. I don't know why, but like, whenever I'm driving, I always have to wear sunglasses. I don't know if I just made myself used to that because, like, when I was working in 2018, and then after that, I just got used to it, and because I love sunglasses, but like now, I always wear sunglasses when I'm driving, even when there's no real sun showing. I'm like, yo, but then I'll wear like brown ones because then obviously they don't dim out everything rather like a like a filter of sorts but um yeah and then also like my earrings um i think too much like this ear usually gets really full but then today i decided to just keep it cute and stuff you know um and that's the look my earrings um are from lovisa except for like this helix up here um the forward helix is from lovisa and this conch, this little ring that's from the piercing place. Um, yeah, that's the look for the girlies. Also, my nails are soaked off, but there's nothing on them. Um, I think I want to do like a a clear. I'm gonna do my own clear. Oh, it's hot. Okay, so I'm gonna do my own clear overlay. I don't know what to call it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my own clear something over my nails. But, you know, I want to keep them for a little while because I need them to be healthier. And they feel really thin. Like, whenever she, like, scrape a little bit, like, of the acrylic off, I'd be like, mm. I feel that in my skin, in my nervous system. Like, yeah. So, why am I still wearing sunglasses? Also, it's really hard. So, you can see what my God's trying, trying to pull off. But let's not focus on that. The crazy thing. Oh, my gosh. I have to tell you guys. So, you know how I am a clown? <laughs> okay um you know how i bought the perfume because the other perfume wasn't getting delivered um it was meant to be delivered last week but and it said it would take like two to four shipping days two to four working days it ended up taking five working days i believe because it arrived today and like the 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 tracking thing wasn't updating so I was like, oh, this is this thing's not gonna come. Let me just go buy like another perfume, another fragrance. Like this fragrance is not gonna come, but um, it did. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys, and we'll all see what it looks like. Let me set y'all down something here. Okay, so this is the package. It's from Clix. Shit, I don't have a knife. Oh my gosh. I found these scissors. Okay. Um, I can't show the top of the box. Also, it's literally just one perfume. I don't know why it has such a big box. I'm like, damn. Because I, I, I know I bought like a bigger version than what I've, what I've bought before. But it can't be... Surely there's no perfume that needs to be in a box this big. Like, it came in this. Okay, so I got 60 milliliters of perfume which is pretty pretty big i don't know like i don't know if 
ever since I've been like trying out different perfumes and you guys have asked and I get different perfumes I don't know if that got me like into perfumes but lately I've just been like looking up perfumes online and I'm not even an online shopper um <laughs> I don't know why I did that but like yeah I'm not even a big online shopper like I look online but I always go buy in person this is the first time I've ever bought a perfume like online and honestly they were out in the stores and I kept going back kept going back I couldn't find it but yeah I got my coach dreams I don't know why it's in a big box I thought it was just the perfume okay seems like there's two two things yeah let's unbox it together okay so she's cute she's pretty um there's like this plastic cover but i love the box because i also have the small one okay let me bring let me bring you guys like my small one so i can show you i can compare with what we with what we get here okay so this is the small one 40 millimeters so this is the smallest one that they have and i bought this one for like 800 and something rand um but it's obviously finished now so this is how big it is i don't know it's finished but like yeah it's like the size it fits in my palm all cute um and then this one um, um i want to see why it came in such a big box because i i know it's bigger but like oh it is considerably bigger wow that's so pretty wow okay it looks a little like cushiony i don't know if you guys can like tell the material on camera can you can you tell okay um whoa this is huge okay let's start with this little product on the side i'm so used to my long nails or longer nails oh my gosh i can't take this off i'm used to having longer nails like i use them as tools and now my short nails aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing they're not giving what they're supposed to be giving i'm trying to push this off um so this is the coach vapor or natural spray i don't know is it the same one okay let me smell yeah it's, it's the same her dreams okay so i guess this is like a put in your purse maybe because this one's so huge oh my word okay so let's try and get the big one out also i got this on sale so I bought this big bottle for 900 rand, this whole box. Yo. I was trying to be gentle, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so I got this box with this mini little spray. I don't know, it's described in French and I don't want to mess that up. So this is the perfume and the oh! This is the comparison, but I think I got, I think I got 300 and something rand off. So this was on sale, like I said, at Clicks. So I bought it for like 906 rand or something like that. And this one I bought for 800 something at Truist. Um, but I think like naturally this is 800 something at Clicks too. But like, yeah, there was like a little, little sale sale. And I bought this. Now I have more. But also I have my YSL perfume, um, my Leave It Away. Please don't, don't cancel me. But like, yeah, okay, that is, that's the coach. And it smells so good. It's, it's funny that I can still, s okay, I had to sniff it though, but I can still smell it even though I'm wearing my YSL. And the YSL is like pretty strong. Like she's, she's, she's on it she's on her game she's in her bag and all of that but yeah i'm so, f I'm so what's falling out now i'm so happy with this um i also enjoy getting the boxes i love perfume boxes i feel like i want to store them and i never used to understand why people store like their designer boxes i was like okay like i mean i guess i know when you buy purses and stuff and you want to resell that people want the original box with like the dust bag and you know the verification and all of that whatever you get i don't know never bought design my life but like yeah but now that i'm getting like really nice expensive perfumes i'm like the boxes really be bussing i know it's perfume i know it's perfume i have my eyes on next but like 
I looked at it yesterday and the smallest bottle was like 4,000 rand. And I was like, we have to come back for you. Anyway, um, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also turn on your post education so you know when I'm posting videos, you guys see I'm on my posting game. And yeah, I'd like to see if you enjoyed it. Comment down below which part you enjoyed the most or like if you've tried the perfumes that I got and all of that. Um, yeah, let's just have a nice little chat in the comment section. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. So much cleavage.